In this text review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this AI tool. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Texter. Texter lets you easily generate long form content for your blog, e commerce, social media, and more. Once we've logged into Texter, we come over to this Writing Tools area. As we can see here, we've got loads of generators to choose from. We've got Academic Article, Blog Post, Real Estate Blog Post, Arts and Culture Blog Post, Blog Titles, Essay Outline, and much more. As we can see on the sideboard here as well, we have an array of different options, and I'm going to go through a few of these today. First option on the sidebar we have is editor. Here you could create your own blog post. You can obviously just start typing into here. You have options to make things bold, italic, attach links. We can also add paragraphs and sentences, and we can actually make the AI create a paragraph or a sentence for us. So if, for example, I wanted to make an article about dolphins, then I could go on Add Sentence. Dolphins are amazing creatures. It's generated that for us. We could go into more detail and we could go on Add Paragraph. Dolphins are amazing creatures. They are very intelligent and have the ability to communicate with each other. They're also very playful and friendly, which makes them a popular choice for marine parks and aquariums. If you are creating an article from scratch, this is a really helpful feature. You could obviously type what you want and then add in a paragraph or a sentence. So if I come over to the long form section, I can work from a template. So I could, for example, use the arts and culture blog, click onto there. And then here for step one, it asks us to describe the blog post you want to create. We can also select the input language and out put language. So if you wanted the blog post to be in another language, you could just click one on here. So I want to sort of test it. So I've gone for something a little bit niche, which is how did Stanley Kubrick inspire modern cinema? It's also worth noting that this is on the simple mode. If we go to advanced, then we can select the title type. We could select from how to learn what I did wrong, big secret, numbers, asking a question, clickbait, Emotional words, hook, inspirational, controversial, science backed, or reason. We can then set the creativity. So we could go all the way up at 100%, or you could set it lower. I'm going to do that at 85. We'll leave our input and output language as English. For the tone, I think we'll go formal, style, we'll go creative. And then once we're happy there, go back in simple and go and generate article. And then we just wait a few moments while this is loading. And then once that's finished loading, as we can see, this has generated a full article just using our title of How Did Stanley Kubrick Inspire Modern Cinema? It's even created its own title, which is pretty good to be fair. The Shining Light of Stanley Kubrick. That's obviously a reference to his film The Shining. It's created an introduction. I'll just read out a little bit. Few filmmakers have had as much of an impact on cinema as Stanley Kubrick. His films are known for their technical precision, their emotionally powerful storytelling, and their ability to provoke thought and debate. Now, obviously, once you've read through all of this, you can make different changes. You can just click on the text and add whatever you'd like. There's also the options to add a paragraph or add a sentence, or you could just type this yourself. We obviously have the options at the bottom, so we can customise this how we'd like, using bold, italic. We also have some filter options, so we could reapply the creativity or change the article length. If you're happy with this, you could go ahead and click on save. You can choose the document name and also the project details. I'm going to go ahead and click save there. As well as long form blog posts, we also have an array of different options. We have grammar correction where we could type a text and go and check and it will check our grammar so that one's okay we have paraphraser again when we could enter our text and it will paraphrase it as we can see we've got our result there under long form we have product so this gives us the options of blog posts which could be for various products so we've got social media marketing health and wellness real estate blog e-commerce 
We also have PR, e-commerce, which has got Amazon product description. We also have social ads. Here we've got product description, Facebook headlines, video title generator, and more. I'm going to go ahead and test the video title generator. So here you will describe your product or video. I've just gone for something random, cooking burgers for 1,000 people. And then we've obviously got the options for advanced settings, or we can just go ahead and go and create. And as we can see, it's generated three results there. We've got the great burger challenge. Can we cook 1,000 burgers in one day? 1,000 burgers, the ultimate cooking challenge. Burgers for 1,000, a challenge we're ready to take on. So they're pretty good results. We also have the option to copy these or favorite them, and we can just save them as another document. Below social ads, we have startup tools, where we have value proposition, slogan generator, video titles, text hook, and more. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the slogan generator. So here it will ask for the name of our brand and the product description. And then once you've described your product, if you go ahead and go on create, and it's gonna generate a slogan for us. So I just did ours about socks, and it's come up with Sock City, the most comfortable socks on the planet. Below startup tools, we have website copy, where we have question generators, event description, and more. We also have sales copy below there, which has marketing strategies, before, after bridge, etc. We have email and letter below there, where we could generate a welcome email, a confirmation email, a thank you note, a follow-up email, a cancellation email. And below there, we have career, where we could generate a LinkedIn profile headline, profile summary, or a cover letter. So as we can see, there's loads of different AI generators to choose from there. I've just gone through a couple, but there's loads we could choose from. We also have the project section. If we go ahead and click on there, so here is where all your saved projects will show. This is just the two that we saved earlier. As you can see here, we've got auto save text with four documents. This has got our video title generator, our Stanley Kubrick blog, and two of our auto saves as well. We also have account settings and team management. In the team management section, you can create a team by inviting team members. And you also have the option to join a team if you had their secret code. And that's pretty much everything. So what are my thoughts on Texter? Texter was a fantastic content generator. It had some very intelligent AI. It's not every day that you see artificial intelligence be able to generate blog posts about pretty niche subjects. There was also a whole range of different generators for different content. Texter made creating long form content easy and I would definitely recommend. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.